this. And actually, I want to try out I wanted to show how different um, the haha -ha appears on the Le Clairefontaine and the Seven Sailor, like which I believe is Tamoe paper. Just really different. <clears throat> Feels interesting. Like fragile, sharp. Yeah, this feels really delicate. Um, and I'm definitely keeping the box <laughs> just to store it in when I'm not using it because I would not want to just have this like floating around in my desk or anything. This is strange because I'm a lefty and I write in a particular way. I kind of write like this, which I know is strange. Okay. Let me know one other person who writes at an angle. Okay, see this is what I'm talking about, like Doing this right, wrong. I don't know. Don't know you guys. Okay, 
So you can see um, how, I don't know, there is a variety in the uh, tone of the ink depending on the amount being used. Here there's more ink obviously than here. Um, here it's there's very little ink so there's more like of a of a blue but like whenever you're using more of the ink um, there's more of like a violet or even a royal blue cobalt no royal blue color um, but very little like in terms of that sort of like um, iridescent sort of um, quality that uh, I feel like a lot of these sailors sailor inks are sort of known for um, yeah okay so let me know this is a Claire Fontaine paper and let's see it's pretty dry this is not obviously because I used a lot of ink there okay Let's try it on the Tomoe paper. Even spelling that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Ugh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Lordy, too much. Okay, so I think one of the, um, 
lessons here, things I'm gonna have to practice on is like, um, the, you know, how much ink is too much. So, yeah, trial and error. Okay, so I still have a bit of ink left on my pen, so I think I'm just gonna wet. What do people do here? Just need to use up this ink. <laughs> how did, how, wait, what do people do? They're like, Something like that, right? Um, what else? What else do people do? I don't know. I was literally waiting for this ink to dry. So that's cool, right? There's some like um, pink notes here. Yeah, okay, so this is what I wanted to show. Um, let me just put the pen cap here. The, the two biggest differences in the, um, the inks and why paper is so important Okay, just, I feel like on the clear fontaine, you get more of the, um, the pink tones, which kind of provide, like that variety in color provides more of the iridescence on like the Tomoe paper. And here on the clear fontaine side, you can see, you don't see any of those pink tones, any of that pink color. You just get more of the blue and a slight violet. Here, because of that pink, it lends to more of like a, when you think of, it reminds me of like an iris almost, or a hydrangea flower, where, um, you know, you can sort of see like the different um, colors on a petal of a hydrangea, the, the, the pink and the violet, like when they're all like sort of like blending together. Um, I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but that's what that's one of the reasons I love Haiha so much is because it reminds me of a hydrangea flower and that quality of um that flower that the the different the variety in the the tones and the hues of of the petals. So here it's really dramatic right here where I used where there was so much ink. Look at that. It's almost dry, almost, this is almost completely dry. It's just like literally a rectangular blob. Um, you can really see that sort of like pink coming out more as the ink is drying. Whereas here, maybe it's underneath. I mean, it's obviously there, but it's, it's not coming out almost at all, maybe here a little bit where there was another blob of ink, but yeah.